Hey, I'm Liv, and it's another Saturday night in quarantine. Hopefully, we're gonna be having a dance party in the park to my favorite band, Ichio. I'm looking out my window right now, and it looks super gray. Last week, we had to cancel, so I did a whole fun makeup look, and then I wore it to my couch. I'm hoping we don't have to do the same this week. Either way, this was fun to do. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go into last week's look. I'm gonna do a speedy up, a little chat over it, and tell you how I did it. It was different than this. This is a little more. And then we're gonna go into a speedy epi of this look and you get to pick which one you like better. <laughs> I like this one better, I have to be honest, cause you know what, if you go on crazy makeup, just go all out. Anyways, let's get on with it. Hello there, it is another Saturday night in quarantine. Ah, I haven't been doing this much because I haven't been having my virtual itch.io parties. Ah, I miss them. I miss them so much in fact that we're doing one in the park tonight. We are gonna be just blasting some, that must be really loud. We are just gonna be blasting some itch.io music in the park and having a good time, hopefully not getting chased off by police or something, but I'm gonna social distance and it might just be me and Patrick. Uh, uh, but I think there'll be maybe a couple other people. This is gonna be a weird kind of video today, okay? We're gonna do a little bit of makeup and we might make it weird because I'm sort of trying to dress up like I would to an Ichio show. So without getting arrested because I wear a lot of masks and crazy things to an Ichio show. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but it's gonna be fun. And I used to do these a lot, these stay home, have fun videos and no one watches them. Uh, it doesn't seem, <laughs> I get like four views or something, uh, which is fine. They're fun for me. I'm doing it anyways. So um, let's tell you products. This was my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the color Sand. I just finished this one. I buy from e.l.f. once a year and I buy enough to last me a year. They do like 50 or 60% off sales. And I know exactly the things I like, the liquid liner, that foundation, their BB cream, and the thing that I have lost, but oh, the eyebrow pencil in taupe. Mm. So I know I like those things. I buy it once a year and then I'm good for a year and it's kind of nice knowing that I don't have to try find new products or the new best thing and I know that's not very beauty guru not like I'm calling myself beauty guru I just like making content but I know the whole push is like constantly find the new better thing this is fine I'm so fine liquid liner fine Primer, fine. Granted, I'm using the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I do like this, and it uh, works as a nice eyelid concealer, too. I paid $10 for it, though, because I got it on Makeup Exchange on Reddit. Okay, so huh, I bought, because I still do buy things, even though I have my foundation and everything from e.l.f. I did buy a foundation stick from Juvia's Place to try, and it's too light. So I thought I would try use this as a highlight. Like cream, contour, and highlight is all big. It's all the rage now. I have super dry skin. That's my jam anyways. So I was like, huh, let's let's do a little of that uh, kind of YouTuber thing where they just draw on themselves and let's see how this looks. I don't love this product personally uh, for dry skin. And then I have this little stick that someone gave me. I think they got it on Wish for a dollar. We'll use this for our contour and just, I never know where to contour our hair. I remember a Wayne Goss video where he said contouring there makes you look old, but oh well. Let's try hide that chin. Gosh, that was too heavy. Much too heavy. Ooh, and let's do a little nose. That'll be fun. Let's do some nose. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. But I am not going for subtle because I'm going as I would to an Ichio show. Then I have this uh, Wet n Wild contour stick in Oaks on You. I've seen this recommended by other people. I got this a while ago at the recommendation of a YouTuber, and it's a little too orangey for me really as you can see but we're just going outlandish now we're having fun with this and it doesn't matter I just remembered I do need to do one other video so I can't look totally crazy yet <laughs> all right and we have a highlight and then we're gonna use a golden highlight stick and Colourpop lunch money super shock thingy as well wow I look kind of nuts up all right so here's where it's different I'm going to blend this all off camera and then we're gonna come back. No reason for you to see all that. It's just gonna be blend, blend, blend like everyone else. Oh, I will tell you that I'm going to be using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer to blend out the bronzer and that's it. Okay, I'll see you when my face is done. Okay, that's that done. Eh, interesting. I, like I said, that stuff is too goldy, too orangey. I'm gonna spray my face because I have so much stuff on. 
<laughs> that's a lot. Uh, but I'm gonna go dance in the park, so I want this to stay nicely. And then I have my lovely giant palette that I just don't use enough. And I realize that some of these don't have magnets on them, so they might fall out. So I think we're gonna be a goth fairy, which I guess is somewhat my aesthetic in general. I think we're going to maybe use this light green. What is this? This must, I don't know. I don't actually know what that is. It's nothing. Oh, it's not magnetized. This one is, that's a coastal sense. All right, we're recording, yes we are. So this light shade deepened up with Limelight from Give Me Glow. And then we're gonna have Kimchi from Sugar Pill deepened up with uh, Blue Your Mind from Luxy Beauty. And then we're gonna have this, I think it's a blush from Coastal Scents, indeed. Tarte Purple and back. I'm gonna deepen that up with this thing that I have no idea what this is. This must be a Juvia's Place shadow. Maybe the Zulu palette or something? I don't know, I hope you could see that. <laughs> okay, that shade deepened up with that. Kimchi deepened up with that. And this purple deepened up with that. This is a look that I color combination that I go to a lot, but I just, I feel like being goth. So I don't know, but we're gonna go into speedy yappy time. We're gonna try this, we're gonna mess around. Clearly I'm not super sure what I'm doing, but we're gonna have fun. We're gonna go now. Okay. And that is the finished look. I feel like a goth fairy. It's exactly what I was going for. I love it. I actually, I think I sort of meant to bring some black a little more on the inside, but nah, this is great. I, it's perfect. I love it. Uh, I just put on some neutral lip gloss because COVID. Uh, so I'm probably gonna wear a mask the whole time. If I get to take my mask off, then I'll probably use this incredible lip gloss. You know what, I'll just throw it on now. This this stuff is incredible. Like, uh, it's one of the few lip glosses that I've purchased myself and not gotten like in a subscription box or something. I don't even want to get any neutral on this. Can you see that? Shimmer Sparkle Deliciousness. It's gorgeous. There are two shades. Oh, this is the more earthy tone shade, warm tone. And then I have like a fairy shade that would have gone better with these eyes, but it's fine. It's cool. I like it a lot. We're going to zoom me out and finish this up. I tell you, deep potting eyeshadow really helps you realize that you have multiples of things. I was playing with the Juvia's Place, the berries palette, and there's this dusty rose sort of shade. And then I noticed that I have that already. I'm not sure what I depotted from, but I think maybe a Juvia's Place palette, maybe the Mini Magic palette, but it's like, wow, it just started pouring rain. But like, wow, the amount of duplicate shadows that I have, the amount of the same browns. Ugh. Anyways, we might not be doing anything in the park if this rain continues. So I might just be looking this colorful to hang out at the house, which is fine. It's okay. It is what it is. Pandemic times. Hello everyone, my dog is sitting right here and he's being very attacked. So I'm not gonna talk much because if I talk a lot, he thinks I'm talking to someone else and I should be talking to him and he gets very upset. So the look that you just saw was my Ichio look, but we had to cancel that night. I didn't get to wear that for anything other than my living room. It was stormy, it might storm tonight, but we're doing it again. This time I'm going all out. We're gonna be a forest huntress today. I have this costume that I got, one of those typical leg 
Avenue or something, I think, one of their plus size ones. So we're gonna do these kind of tones, sort of warrior princess, and then I have this lipstick that doesn't quite go with the tone, uh, but it's greenish, so it'll be sort of an ethereal green tribal pixie. You know, the thing that I always do, apparently. We're gonna go into speedy epi time so the dog doesn't get too pissed. I really would love to use my JD Glow. It's uh, this one right here. There on the camera, it looks green, but in person, it looks very purple. You know what? It looks so green on the camera. I think that it'll work and I'll pull the lipstick together. So we're probably gonna do that on the lid, but I also want it to be olive, so I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna mess around. We're gonna have a good time, but first things first, I wanna do my face because I'm gonna do my face and then I'm gonna put on some face paint first. We're going for a sort of an asymmetrical, I think I'm gonna have like three slashes coming down this eye and then a line over here and then some kind of like maybe a triangle thing and tribal dots and sort of things. I don't know. You know, your typical forest pixie. Okay, so I'm gonna do my face. We're gonna speedy up time and let's get on with it. And I'm also going to watch the Umbrella Academy while we do this because I've only watched like the first episode, not even half of the first episode. And apparently it's the new awesome thing and I really wanna get into it. Can you hear my dog? Let's go. Thank you. 
Okay, that's the finished look. I think this works pretty well. I like the asymmetry. I'm not too sure about the middle forehead thing. Like maybe without that, it would have been just fine. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I could make it stronger. Ah, it's fine. It's good. I like this a lot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that I'm gonna be wearing a mask. So I really hope that this it <laughs> doesn't wipe off. I think I think this will be okay right there. I'll take a photo of the whole costume and with my mask on. Either way, I'll wear a black mask. So if it comes off, that's fine. You know what? Let's do a whole bunch of setting spray and hope for the best. Moss times, what can you do? But this is a look that I love. I love this sort of forest huntress look. I hope I didn't spray too much and now it's leaking. It's even more fun with my hair, I have to say, because this totally matches this lipstick. Anyways, I'm interested. Which did you like better, look one or look two? It would have been fun to have worn look one to an actual event instead of my couch, but either way, it was really fun to do. It was really fun to do this look, and I'm hoping we don't get rained on, or I'm gonna look proper tribal pixie forest nymph sort of thing, as in messy and muddy and not all made up. Anyways, it's fun either way. If you like this video, I hope you do give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. Wherever you are, I hope you're having the best Saturday night that you possibly can. Be kind to the people around you and thanks for hanging out.